With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is a plot between the angle of deviation and angle of incidence is shown in figure. From the graph, one can say that the prism angle is. So, let's see solution. So, actually in this solution, we have given a graph between angle of deviation and angle of incidence for the ray and we have to find here the angle of prism. Okay. So, for this let's see solution. So, we know that for ray the angle of deviation is given by the formula that is delta is equals to i plus e minus a where i is representing the angle of incidence, e is angle of emergence and a is angle of prism. Okay. So, if we look to the graph and consider this line okay, uh, which is parallel to i means angle of incidence. So, we can see that we have given here the two angle of incidence that is 15 degree and 60 degree and for this two values of uh, angle of incidence, the angle of deviation is common that is 30 degree. So from graph, one thing I can say that the angle of deviation will be equals to 30 degree. But to find the angle of incidence and angle of emergence. What I have to see here that is if we look at here. So, angle of deviation is common for both uh, angle of incident. Okay. So that means uh, let us suppose if angle of incident is equals to alpha. So, angle of uh, emergence should be equals to beta. That means angle of deviation delta will become is equals to alpha plus beta minus of a for this point ok. Similarly for this point uh, if we consider angle of incident is beta and angle of emergence is alpha ok angle of emergence is alpha. So, uh, delta 2 means angle of deviation at this point can be given as beta plus alpha minus a. Now, by this calculation, I can say that delta 1 is equals to delta 2, which we are getting here as 30, right. So, uh, one thing I can conclude from this calculation that is, if angle of incident will be equals to 15 degree, so in that case, the angle of emergence will become is equals to 60 degree, okay. So, from here I can say that for the value of angle of incident that is 15 degree, the angle of emergence should be equals to 60 degree. So, that means uh, I plus E will become is equals to 15 plus 60 that is equals to 75 degree, okay. Now, if we substitute these values in our equation, so we get the angle of prism that is A is equals to I plus E minus of delta that is equals to 75 minus 30 that would be equals to 45 degree. Okay. So, angle of prism from graph would become 45 degree. Now, let us look at the given option. So, option third that is 45 degree will become correct answer for this question. So, this is the required solution. I hope you will like it. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.